once you have an A pose or a T pose, whether you drew your own or you downloaded my bunny reference, and I should have that in the link on this page, as well as some of the other areas on my website, you wanna always start out your project by going to File, Project View, and starting a new character area. You can call it whatever you want. I could call this bunny character. I could call it character. I said this is kind of in the script, but I showed you that. So let's go ahead and say mochi bunny character. I'm going to put it in my tutorials 3D work. I'm going to accept it. Cool. And then you want to take those reference photos you had. Right now it was defaulting to character, but I need a new folder. So actually. I'm not going to be using this character one, so I'm just going to delete it. I'll go to my Mochi Bunny character and I will go in Source Images and those pictures I had of that Mochi Bunny, I'm going to move here. So take a minute, set up your file, project window to whatever you want it to be called, accept the changes, and then move those reference files, whether you're, they're your own character files or they're mine, into that source images. Once you've done that, you can always double check and go to setting, preferences, file, and make sure you have your auto saves on if that's something you want. Even though you have auto save though, continue to do manual saves. Pause the video if you need to, and then we'll show you how to get them in the panels. So, we want to put the front in the front view and the side in the side view. Luckily, that's pretty self-explanatory. And how we do that is we click on view. We go to the second to last option, image plane, and then we're going to import image. As I've said, all of my windows appear on my second screen. So let me drag this over. And I'm going to click on bunny demo front and hit open and it should show up. Yay! And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing in my side view, image plane, import image. It's still going to open up in the wrong window. So I'll go bunny side and open. Yay! And from spinning around, I think for an earlier demo, I'm going to just Double click and make sure I have everything aligned correctly. So actually when I moved it right, I moved it left. All right, is this better? Haha, -ha, yes. So I'm just making sure that I have this set up so that this corresponds to all my areas. And what I'm going to do is set up these images so that my front bunny is here. I'm going to put the reference bunny to the side. Oop, wrong one. So I'm going to put it right to the edge of this other one. I'm going to move it out and I'm going to rotate it. And I can rotate it either by using the rotate tool or the transform controls. And if you can't get it exactly right, if you notice when I do this, my rotation controls are changing in this rotate Y. I always wanna to go to the nearest multiple of 90. So I would actually want a negative 90 here. I can type that in, hit enter, and it will appear. Now, most students, when they model, accidentally select these reference images a couple times. It gets super obnoxious, so we'll show you how you can freeze these so that you won't do that. Once you put these rabbit planes on here, make sure you have your select tool. Then we'll work with the other tools, but it's easier to make sure you don't accidentally move anything. So you wanna select these and then make sure you have your channel box open. The channel box is going to be this one right here. You can always roll your cursor over it. It'll tell you what it is. This is my channel box and it has this nifty little layers menu here, which makes it super easy to set things up. If I click this option all the way over here, it's going to create a new layer and assign selected objects. And that's what I wanna do. I could create a new layer, but I wanna make sure that these two objects end up on that layer. So I wanna select them, click here, and now 
I'm going to rename this layer. I can do that by right click and rename. I can double click it really slowly. I find it's easier to right click for me. So I'm going to call this by reference, save. Now, all that did is move them to a new layer, but I can make this whole layer a reference by clicking. And this R stands for reference. And now they're there, but I can't accidentally select them. And that's the first step in setting up this project.